Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video I want to teach you how to troubleshoot and fix the Error 500 that you get inside of WordPress. Um, this obviously doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes when it does happen it can be extremely frustrating. So I want to walk you through a couple steps that you can do to easily troubleshoot this. Um, you can also ask our 24-7, 365 support team via live chat. Give us a call or shoot us a ticket and we'll help you troubleshoot it that way. But if you just want to dive right in, I'll show you. Most of the time these issues come up of something simple. So I'll just kind of show you how to go about the process and how to troubleshoot it. And again, if you need help, further assistance, feel free to reach out. So the first thing I want to do is um, navigate into my cPanel. So I'm going to account and log in. And once I do that, I'm brought to the main Name Hero client dashboard. From inside of here, I want to navigate to my cPanel. I've got several different um, example accounts here, but I'm going to click on keydiets.com and I'm going to go inside of cPanel. So now I've got my cPanel up and I've got my WordPress dashboard up. So this is my example WordPress, WordPress dashboard. And in another window, I'll go to my example site. So my example site is keydiets.com. So let's say I was having an error 500 on this page here and it was not loading. The first thing that I want to do is look at mod security. So if I go inside of cPanel and I type in mod, you'll see down here under security, mod security. So Mod Security is an application that uh, helps protect your website against many different threats. Well, sometimes, especially if you're writing a post inside of WordPress and use some type of obscured character, a character that's not quite accepted um, by PHP, it will trigger a Mod Security rule and you'll get an internal server error. So the first thing I want you to do if you're getting the 500 internal server error is to disable Mod Security. Click Disable All on your domains and then try. Go to your website, refresh it, um, go back to what you were doing and see if you still get the same error. Um, if you do, if you do not, then you know that mod security was the issue. At that point, you can reach out to our team and say, hey, you know, I was getting this error with mod security and I need the rule that was triggering it whitelisted, or you can just leave mod security off. It's up to you. You can go either way. Uh, me personally, sometimes I just will disable mod security altogether on my personal sites because I feel like that if I whitelist one rule, then something else comes up. So sometimes it can be more trouble than it's worth. Um, or you might want to get back to what you're doing if you're writing a post and you know you're not injecting your site with malware um, finish what you're doing then go back and turn it back on so that's your options there you have several different options with mod security but historically that's the number one reason we see an error 500 in wordpress now if it's not that if you disable mod security and you go to your wordpress website and you're still seeing error 500 i want you to go look at the ht access file so you do that by going back to cpanel going to file manager Double click in your www, go up here to settings, click on show hidden files, click save, and you'll see HT access right here. What you want to do is go rename this, and I just put like a one or something after it. Click rename file, and then go refresh your site. If it fixes your error, then it was your HT access file. You can regenerate your HT access file by going to dashboard, by going to settings, going to reading, or I'm sorry, settings in general, I'm sorry, settings and permalinks, and going down here and clicking save changes, and this will write you a new HD access file. If you refresh your file manager, go back to public HTML or www, you will see you've got a new HT access file. Now, I've got some modifications to my site, so I'm going to rename it back, but that's how you get a nice clean one if it does, if it is the HT access file. So I'm going to go ahead and just rename this back to the one um, that I had. So if it's not mod security and it's not HT access, then you need to look at your plugins because it's very likely that you've uploaded some type of plugin that's causing the error. Or maybe a plugin's upgraded. We've seen this here recently um, with our own Name Hero blog. So you go into WP Content and you go to Plugins and rename this. And again, I just like to use a one or something. Name it something different than Plugins. Click Rename File. Go back to your site, refresh it, and see if you're still getting the error. If you are not getting the error, then you know the problem is with a particular plugin. So then you want to go back to your file manager, rename it to plugins again, click rename file, 
And then you want to go back to your WordPress admin, go to plugins, installed plugins, and you want to start deactivating the plugins one by one until you find the one that's creating the issue. So for example, you can see contact form seven is enabled. I can click deactivate. And then I'd want to go back to my site and refresh it and see if I'm still getting the error 500. And I want to keep doing this until I no longer get the error 500 so I can figure out which plugin it is. Once I figure out which plugin it is, then I can try to update the plugin or I can try to submit a ticket to the plugin developer. So it's likely that um, all these plugins, they've got um, Ticket Desk or Help Desk um, that you can find on their website. If I click View Details here, um, you can just get, get to reading through here and they've got a plugin home page and you can see they've got a support tab here um, where they've got a frequently asked question, a support forum, and they've got professional services. So um, here you'd probably want to um, ask in the forum, you know, I'm getting this error. Is anyone else getting it? What's wrong? So just to recap here, the first thing that we're going to look at with Error 500 is mod security. If it's not mod security, we're going to look at HT access. If it's not HT access, we're going to look at your plugins. Now, if it's none of those, if you've tried all of those, let's go look at your PHP limits. At Name Hero, we make this very simple. Go back to cPanel, type in PHP, select PHP version, and you can see this site is running PHP 7.0. If you're getting error 500, click here, click 5.6, click set as current, and then go refresh your site again and go look and see if you're getting the error. If you're no longer getting it, then you can leave it on 5.6. If you're still getting it, then go ahead and go to 7.0. I recommend 7.0 with all new installs of WordPress, at least 7.0. Go to switch to PHP options. And this, um, the memory limit here, I've got it set to 256. So if you're getting error 500, it's likely that you need to raise this. You're, you're probably set at a lower rate. So set it to at least 256. Um, and then also with your post max size, set that to at least 32 or 64 megabytes. Your upload max file size, set that to at least um, 32 or 64 megabytes. Click apply and click save. And then go back to what you're doing and see if that solves error 500. Um, most of the time, all error 500s can be fixed with one of those um, simple things. It's normally one of those things that is causing error 500 on your WordPress site, and that's how you can quickly and easily resolve them. Of course, our team is standing by 24 hours a day, seven days a week, where you can send us a, you can call us, you can send us a live chat or a ticket, and we'd be more than willing to look at your install and try to troubleshoot it. But most of the time, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to get it done, um, it's one of those things, and you can kind of go from there. Um, sometimes WordPress will also put an error log, so you can go into here, and just look for a file called error log and you can see I don't have any errors so it's not showing in here but if you see that you can also click it and click on view and it will show you the actual error click on edit edit or view either one and it will show you the error log inside of your um, directory and it will tell you a little bit more of what's going on but as I said nine chances out of ten you're going to solve it um, with one of the following it's either the HT access file it's either your plugins need to be changed up it's either mod security or you need to um, change your PHP version or PHP upload limits. It's normally one of those things almost always. So let us know if you have any questions, but that should get your WordPress website back up and running and, and resolve that error 500 internal server error. It's one of those errors that sometimes it makes you want to pull your hair out, but I can promise you there's always a solution to it. Um, and again, the Name Hero support team is standing by to help you out with it. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching and using NameHero.com.